Welcome to Games and Breakfast, the show that introduces you to new games and the time it takes for you to eat the whole cereal. I'm Alex and today we've got Slay the Spire. Let's jump right in. So I'm going to abandon my existing run because I want to show you some new stuff. So here we got, uh, we have a few different uh, modes that we can do. We're going to do the standard mode. Now, one thing I will uh, explain to you guys is that there's three separate playable characters. We, the first is the Ironclad, which is kind of like a traditional soldier. They heal at the end of each combat, so it's kind of very, uh, very beginner friendly. We have the Silent, that so once you start to become more familiar with the cards and with the, um, the relics and stuff that you collect, this is a better opportunity for you to kind of uh, min-max uh, damage over time. And then finally you have the Defect, which is an automation that, can, that controls these orbs that you can use to do tons of burst damage. For the purpose of this quick run, we're going to use the Ironclad. Now I always try and kind of make it so that uh, when I do these runs, I try and build up a like a strong defense. So here are the options I have. So I'm going to go with the max HP. That's super valuable because the higher your HP is, the more you heal at the uh, the rest stations here. Now you get to you get the opportunity to select which path you want. Generally, I like to take the path that has the least amount of enemies. So this is the floor. This here is the uh, the last boss for the floor. So you kind of got to fight through a lot of guys to get to that boss. It's quite the run. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to take you to the store there to show you what it's like. So I'm going to take this route here. All right. So here's Slay the Spire. So you draw your cards again. We only have beginner cards right now. Um, so this, this enemy intends to use a buff. So he's going to buff himself, which means that he's not going to attack me. So I don't need to use my defense. I need to do as much damage as I can while I can. So he, so at the end of every turn, he gains three strength, which means he's going to do more damage every single turn. Um, six damage. So I'm going to block, so I'll only take one damage, and then I'll apply Vulnerable, which will increase the amount of damage he takes for two turns. So he's going to hit me with one overall damage, which isn't a big deal because I get to heal after every single uh, combat encounter. So he's going to hit me with nine now because he's gained strength. So I'm going to try and burn him down, so I'm just going to hit him with as much as I can. And he's dead. So again, you saw me heal there. So after every single combat, you get some rewards. So I'm going to take the gold. I get to add a card to my deck. Um, in this circumstance, although I'm trying to build a defense-based deck, True Grit's not a great card. I'm going to go with Pommel Strike. It's a little stronger. So when you see the question mark, that's basically like an event. Anything can happen there. It could be a combat encounter, but in this circumstance, I make my way down a long corridor and I see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. And then I notice that they're tied to holes in the ceiling and there's quiet crackling from above. What do I do? Do I take the banana and heal? Do I take the donut and get more health? Or do I obtain a relic from the box but I become cursed? Which means I'm going to lose um, HP equal to the number of cards in my hand. I'm going to take the donut and I'm going to take the max HP. That's great. Now I'm at 93. That's actually amazing. I've had a good string of luck here. All right, so these little slimes, so they're going to do some negative effects, which means they're not going to hit me with damage. So I'm going to, actually, I might be able to take this guy out. I can. Oh, that guy there. There we go. Now, being a strategy game, I'm playing a little faster, which is not necessarily a good idea. You generally want to actually plan your strikes a bit. So he's going to hit me for eight. Hmm. Oh, he hit me with weak, and so I'm gaining less block, so I'm not going to be able to do much to that. Just thinking, I might actually just try and burn him down here. I'll take the damage and heal up after. So now I'm just one turn away from just uh, finishing him off. And again, so he's going to do a negative effect, but that doesn't matter because he's going to be gone. And I heal up. So, oh, so I got uh, potions, so that means I get to gain four uh, plated armor uh, at the end of a turn. Okay, so gain strength. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see red here because that's a, that's a cool card for kind of doing a burst damage when necessary. Alright, so we got another event. Oh, I just realized. I totally made a mistake. I meant to show you the, uh, the, the merchant, so I'll take it over there. Alright. So among the stones and boulders, you notice an intricate large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there's more inside. So, oh. I only have one option here, so I get to pray and remove a card from my deck for 7 HP, and that's fine. I will do that. Um, in this case, I would remove a strike 
because as the game progresses you're going to find more and more suitable attacks. The strike is almost a card you really don't want. So I'm going to go to the merchant here. So with every combat encounter you get gold. So I have 136 now. That gives me the opportunity to buy relics that have uh, that have different uh, kind of impacts. So for instance whenever I lose HP I gain 3 block for the next turn. That's pretty good. So I, I uh, heal at the start of every boss encounter. That can be pretty useful, especially in uh, later floors. And here, I get five random potions. Not very helpful for me because I only have three potion slots, but in here are the potions. So we have the block, we have the fire damage. So for 48 uh, gold, I can hit any enemy I want for, for 20 damage. And then I get some, uh, I get one, one of three attack cards and it costs zero. I like the master of strategy. I want to draw some cards and exhaust basically means that once you use it, it's gone. So I'm going to buy, oh, I can't, I don't have enough money. Oh, and true grits on sale. I'm actually going to buy them tile size. That's a great card for defensive play. And I'm actually going to not remove a card because I'm broke. Yes, it's not a charity. All right, so when you go to the uh, the campfire here, you have the opportunity to rest to gain experience, or you can upgrade one of your cards in the deck, and that's what I'm going to do. And I am going to, so for instance, if you upgrade, so this card, which usually costs one mana, will cost a zero and still have the same effect, and that's what I'm going to do. So now I actually gain two net uh, energy. And here is an elite fight, which means that I have the chance to uh, get a, uh, a relic from this fight, but it's going to... Do some damage to me. So this guy's going to buff, which means he's not going to attack. So I'm going to hit him with everything I've got. And I'm actually going to use the plated armor as well. So at the end of every uh, turn, I gain four. So because uh, this will be the last encounter we do here, I want to uh, just show you kind of a little bit of everything. So I'm just going to go all in here. So pommel strike. I'm going to pull another card. And hmm, it's not really good for burst. But you know what? I'm going to use the card here just so I can build up some defense just to make sure I survive. There you go. 12 armor. He's hitting me for 18. I'll only take 6. Perfect. Alright, so he's going to hit me for 18 again. This guy's coming in hard, so I will bash him, and then I will use what I can to defend myself. I'm going to take some damage here, but again, because I have the plated armor and the metallicize, after every turn I'm getting quite a bit of armor. Alright, so I'm going to pommel strike, see what I pull. I pulled a bash, but he already has damage here, so I'm going to hit him with two of the strikes. He's almost down. We almost got him, guys. Almost got him. Oh, oh my gosh. I was just going to say, did I seriously just pull all defense? But there we go. He was about to hit me for 30 damage, too, so that was pretty useful. 32 gold from the elite fight, and I get a relic. So whenever I climb a floor, a floor I gain 12 gold. Um, but no longer works whenever you spend gold to shop. That kind of sucks. I get a strength potion as well, and I get to add a card to my deck. In this case, I would add... I would add True Grit here, unfortunately. <laughs> actually, you know what? I think I would actually skip. None, none of these cards are particularly useful. You have the opportunity to skip if you want. Anyways, so this here is Slay the Spire. As you can see, there's quite the climb still left to go. And then after that, you get to go to a new floor. Um, but uh, you're probably already done your cereal or your toast right now. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.